Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is a future spouse video. Now, I haven't done one of these in two years. I didn't understand why I kept getting lots of requests and then I realised it had literally been two years. So I felt like I needed to do one because it's been some time. Um, I didn't know what questions to really ask in regards to future spouse. So I just wanted to see what would come through. Um... So we're just going to leave it open. I don't really know 100% what's going to come through. But, um... Oh, Padme's come to say hi, guys. This is Padme. She very rarely comes to say hi. Do you? Let's get in, though. Let's choose some, um... I put a candle on. Let me just blow that out. Bit of a messy intro, but it's fine. Okay. I love how she leaves after I blow out the candle. Maybe she was telling me to do that. Um, okay. So pile number one. Um, we have the shell, pile number two, we have the stone from the beach, pile number three, we have the limpet shell, and pile number four, we have the pine cone. So see which object you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at all of the energy surrounding your future spouse. I'm going to let this reading kind of take us where it needs to take us. Um, but we're basically going to be leaving it open and seeing um, maybe how you'll meet, first impressions, their energy, your energy, what the relationship and marriage is going to be like. Um... I'm just going to let it come through naturally. I don't really want to pull too many questions. I just want to let it flow. Um, so let's get in. So the shell pile, please, spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones, please. Tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. Your first card's just flown out straight away and gone under the table. Two seconds. We have the Ten of Crystals, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So that's a great card. It just pops straight out, isn't it? Ten of Pentacles, stability and attainment. I'm hearing the song by Lana Del Rey Radio and she sings, Now my life is sweet like cinnamon, like an effing dream I'm living in. That's what I'm hearing. Um, pile number... I feel like you're going to meet this person after something you've been manifesting comes true and it's nothing to do with love. Like, you're going to meet this person when maybe you've been manifesting a house, you get the house and then it comes around that time period. Like, it's almost linked and attached to something. Like, you may have, like, um, a promotion in your career that you've been manifesting. Um, you get that and then you meet this person. Uh, it, it could be that, like, you know, a project that you have takes off. It could be that uh, you... Um, if wanted to maybe clear some, you know, inner work and some karma and just feel good about yourself, that happens. It's like almost this person comes in after that. It's almost part of it. It's like we've had a drought and now the tide's coming in and it's like your person's part of that tide coming in. Um, but there's something going to be like, boom, like something's going to make you feel really good right before you meet this person. Um yeah, like I see you guys feeling very good about something that you've done or something about yourself. Um, I'm also being shown traveling. You could be, you know, um, not necessarily like traveling. You could have just been on like trips, um, you know, gone on little holidays and stuff. Uh, there's something about that like something's busy in your life. Something's like a focus. Something it's like you're feeling really good. And then this person's there um, just out of nowhere, because whatever it is, it's putting you on that path, I feel. Uh, so that's the first thing that I'm getting. Pile number one. Pile number one's future spouse. Pile number one's future spouse. Four of shells, soul searching and reevaluation. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one's future spouse. What can you tell me? These two cards just came up together. The world. The queen of acorns, which is the queen of wands. Pile number, I feel like you're not going to want to let up when this person comes in though. Um, there's almost a feeling of like, I feel like whenever you guys specifically get comfortable in something, um, 
spirit the universe your higher self is like right let's get uncomfortable again and bring something in and i almost feel like whatever this manifestation is it's almost like i want it to linger i want to savor it and it's like i just want to sit here a sec and then it's like this person you meet this person and then it's like i was like couldn't we have just waited like six months like couldn't we have just waited nine months like i'm kind of you know having to open up again like i've just got this and now this is here too like it's almost like when you wait for a bus and then 10 come at once you know sometimes when people are aligning with something or manifesting something or um something's coming in like a blessing or something like that um sometimes it's trickled in whereas i almost feel like with you it's like the tide's either all the way out or it's all the way in like there's just no in between um which is quite interesting so it's almost like why is this all happening now like it could have been that you've been in solitude for so long and it's like i'm so comfortable and happy here and the minute you're like i'm so happy and comfortable here <laughs> so it's like okay get out then you know what I mean out oh, you're comfortable you can't grow in comfort and it's like here's somebody here with you and it's like oh wow so um I'm not saying it's resistance in the sense of I don't want to be with you it's just like couldn't we just leave this off a little bit I could have done with a little bit longer um but divine timing is divine timing and I also feel like divine timing frustrates you because it's like you may have wanted to know when certain people would come in and it's like divine timing and you're like what does that even mean because it's when you're aligned with it but it, it's frustrating here in it because it's like but when and then it's like when this person comes in it's like couldn't you just wait in and then it's like divine timing and there's like a ah like oh my god so there's a there's a feeling of that pile number um yeah I keep being shown transportation like cars trains airplanes so I almost feel like you may you may be like around the time planning a trip going on a trip um just something along those lines I'm being shown skiing so some of you guys may ski um pile number one please spirit guides pile number one's future spouse what can you tell me about pile number one's future spouse queen of crystals which is the queen of pentacles pile number one's future spouse Six of Crystals, Three of Acorns, Foresight and Exploration, Pile Number, Ten of Feathers, which is the Ten of Swords, Recovery and Transformation, Eight of Feathers, Courage and Solutions. Yeah, I'm literally hearing... Um, it's the Janae Aiko song 316, and she sings... Um, oh my god, I know every lyric to most of her songs and I've completely forgotten. I do not fear the fear of falling. I want to fly. If it all goes well, then I will. I don't know. It's just her kind of like facing her fears in that way. But I just feel like when you meet this person, you're going to be... Um, it's again it's a trip but this is the thing it's not like physical it doesn't have to be a physical trip i just feel like energetically there's like cogs turning and i feel like this person's coming in to accompany you through that um i don't even feel like they would even come straight in and it's gonna be like a relationship straight away i almost feel like they're gonna accompany you as like a kind of companion in a friendship way then it turns into love um i think you're both gonna be going on a little bit of a journey it's almost like i'm cementing i'm cementing i'm aligning with something i'm aligning with something i've got this manifestation now there's wheels turning a lot is shifting now in my life but it's it's not chaotic it feels good um but there's a lot to get used to and get accustomed to and then all of a sudden somebody's sharing and they're walking with me as well and they're going through their own shifts you mirror each other a lot and i feel like a lot of your journeys you've mirrored i feel like maybe if you were in a particular you know um imbalanced connection they would have been in it too there's like a a definite mirror here um where you both have been through the same kind of experiences or the same energy shifts that's what i feel it more more so is like energy shifts um when you were doing clearing or shadow work they were doing clearing and shadow work when you were going through a hard time they might have been going through a hard time it's just energetically i feel like you've constantly one of you leads the way more i feel like it's your person that leads the way more um in the sense that they go in first and you kind of follow after it's almost reminding me of two dolphins kind of 
floating about so that's what i see energetically but when you meet it's like you're meant to meet because i think you're growing then together through a certain shift or change something's almost pushing you together it's like two waves kind of crashing into each other so it's like energy being formed for you guys to be together so it's almost like you're constantly gonna maybe bump into this person or you're you know it's like again a trip i'm going on a trip and this person's here and then i'm seated next to this person here and it's like we keep bumping in to each other like that until it's like we're kind of sticking friendships formed and then it kind of grows from there so that's one thing that i'm definitely picking up on um queen of crystals six of crystals which is the six of pentacles queen of crystals i feel like you've been through the exact same lessons like you would have overgiven at one point so they they used to overgive at one point um they may have had abandonment wounds so then you had abandonment wounds like there's so much mirroring and it's like i'm building myself up i'm clearing out cycles i'm building 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 i'm building something of substance and it's like somebody's building one pillar the other person's building another pillar and then all of a sudden they merge together and it's like a house um that you're aligning with and you're both slowly moving towards that point then where you meet and then you kind of grow together you know when two branches are sticking out and then you follow them back to the roots and then they form into one and they become one branch there's something like that that i'm being shown it wouldn't shock me if you work with this person um or if you build something with this person some of you guys may even go into property with this person so like buying houses building up houses something to do with that um i just see you guys building something together like having an idea and going and doing something some of you guys may be doing like humanitarian work and things like that it's almost like on a soul level mission wise you kind of have the same sort of mission um so there's a lot of that i also am being shown children so it could be that they have children and you and you do it could be that you end up having children but i also kind of feel like you both would have really worked on your inner children and nurtured them before meeting each other. And I feel like there's a there's a freedom and a sense of being able to play. Um, feel it, allowing your inner children to feel safe around each other. However, I feel like that may get a little bit triggering. This is Luna. Say hi, everyone. Say I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Um, yeah, so I really see that with you guys. Let me blow the candle out. This is the second time I've had to blow it out. I didn't know you were coming to it. See, I, this is what I mean. I feel like they're coming just to tell me, look, blow the candle out. But it doesn't need to be on. Because they leave once I've blown it out. Don't you? Um, and even there, I just feel like this connection is divinely guided. But I do see you guys allowing you, your inner children to feel safe around each other. So there's a lot of play, a lot of funniness, a lot of goofiness at the same time. However, that may get triggering at times. Um, because the thing is, is when we allow certain parts of ourselves to finally feel safe, sometimes repressed memories can come up and sometimes um, wounding, you know, that was really beneath beneath the surface that we might not have even seen it was in the corners tucked away that may then start to come out and the reason it comes out is because it feels safe too so i think that you both are going to be incredibly healing to each other and i see a lot of like passing through certain emotions and i do see you both kind of mirroring the same emotions um towards each other like one of you um starts to um remember that feeling of abandonment and is working through it and is just needing time to process it and then when that person's kind of you know alchemized through it the other person then starts to go through it and i think you're going to see that a lot because it's like one of you follows and the other one follows suit it, it's very like that it's like literally like two um again like two dolphins just kind of following each other through the waves it's really 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 interesting um three of eight ones ten of feathers there's gonna be st i feel like this is kind of a spiritual connection i feel like you guys are quite connected to spirit and i feel like there's gonna be a lot of inner work that you do with each other i think there's gonna be a lot of growth that happens with each other i do see you guys working through um more fears that you have um but i see you growing together like i'm being shown two people holding on to each other and like stabilizing themselves imagine being on like a raft at sea trying to stabilize and it's like right we've got to work together to keep this afloat so it's like 
two hands holding on and it's like you're both balanced and your feet like that so there's something about that i feel like when one of you kind of drops the other one picks the other up it's very nurturing very care and very intensive um and it's very rooted and grounded as well um like there's nothing really i want to say romanticized i don't mean it's not a romantic connection i mean like there's nothing like up in the clouds you know about this this is very grounded very nurturing i feel like you're really gonna nurture the connection and really build and create a kind of safe space around each other there's something to do with a home so i don't know if you're gonna move in quickly or you're gonna like build a home um or again it could be that you go into like real estate or something like that there's something about a home i do feel like you guys may are quite home bodies one or two of you maybe work from home um but there's something it could just be building like a home up or having like a family life that maybe some of you guys didn't have in childhood um are doing things right there's a lot of emphasis around that and building something building a stability that maybe both of you might have lacked at one point in time um and really like feeding into that and creating that it's really really beautiful there's a lot of hearty energy as well um a lot of hearty energy and i do feel like it's going to be a, it's funny it's going to be a slow burner in the sense that physically it's going to take you a minute um to really let the cement dry and build like that um but as far as like the universe kind of having you come together i feel like things seem to happen a little bit quickly in the sense of you keep bumping into each other you keep having to be around each other and it's flowing quite naturally like that but i think it's flowing quite naturally like that because there's a friendship being built and i see a lot of like attentive energy both building towards something, enjoying each other's company, learning each other, understanding each other, lots of communication, um, likes and dislikes, you know, of course Ariana Grande comes in in a love reading because she tends to come in in those readings, but I'm here on point of view, um, where she sings, um, I'm getting used to receiving, still getting good at not leaving, I'm gonna love you even though I'm scared, learning to be patient with myself. So it's 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 something that really builds and I feel like it starts very gentle and then it slowly gets deep. I feel like if you were both to jump in deep quite quickly, I feel like you'd both run. <laughs> um, I feel like there'd be an intensity and you'd both run. And I also feel like if there was the um the sort if you both knew that it was gonna turn into a connection straight away, I feel like you both might I feel like sometimes you guys might be a little bit prone to self-sabotage without realizing it. That's what I'm being told. Just out of, it's like the inner child wanting to keep itself safe. The shadow self wanting to keep itself safe. Um, looking out for potential threats. Um, and I feel like that energy then starts to kind of muster over um, more healthier energies. And then it can cause both of you it's happened in other connections where it's like i need to run i need to flee or i need to shut down or i'm looking for the wrong in this um whereas i feel like that's why when you meet it's it's more friendly it's more um i like spending time with you your friend it's it's, it's like a you know a friendly energy and i see you both being a very powerful um stances in your own life like you have a lot of ish together in your own lives um i feel like your career will be doing quite good um i feel like you'll be very tapped into your personal power this isn't a connection if you're quite young i don't see this connection happen until a bit later on because there's energies you're gonna have to establish um within yourself first and it's not because you have to reach this until you meet someone it's not that i think your soul was like i want to do all of this by myself work through this and then once i've done it then i'd like to experience this so it's like it's not you being punished or like, why am I constantly single if you feel that way? It's your soul was like, I need to head first focus on this or I need to focus on this, especially if you had inner wounds and work. It was like, there's this tunnel vision of like, I want to work through this and I want to understand this and I need to understand this about myself. You wanted to bring it to yourself without someone else bringing it to you. That was part of your mission, I feel. Um, that was what your soul wanted to do. Um and I see you guys doing that and establishing that. So I don't see you guys fully establishing like an actual relationship with this person until maybe around your Saturn return, um, maybe a little after your Saturn return. Um, or it could just be when you feel, because some people grow up and evolve very young. So it could just be when you feel like I'm, I feel adult, I feel grounded on earth. Um, because I'm also being told there would have been times where you would escape a lot. Um, and you would think, I don't want to be on earth. I don't, I don't want this. Like this is, I don't want to be here. When this person comes in, 
you love being here yes okay there's frustrations but it's like no I love being here I understand why I'm here and I feel grounded and when I say escapism I don't mean like daydreaming and listening to music because that inspires us and that keeps us connected to our inner child but when we're constantly somewhere else and, and off somewhere else we're not fully present in the moment and I think that um when this person comes in you're both going to be very present in the moment and very much anchored into your reality there's you're really going to be grounded when this person comes in um for some of you guys this person may have sandy blonde hair it could be that i'm just being shown sand because you may, again travel in holidays you may be by a beach it's, it's something to do with that you have the shell there as well and i remember um doing like when i was doing a lot of soul mate readings there was always like a couple of piles where i'd get like a beach pile but there was something to do with a beach and the ocean so it could be that and obviously the seagulls are making noise in the background and i live by a beach as well so that's quite interesting how that they've started making noise when i'm saying that but um yeah i'm also being taken to the caribbean as well um so they may be from the caribbean i'm just being taken there and just those like islands and being taken all around there um which is quite interesting um this person's going to be very focused on their career like their finances it's like my head's down finances career finances career um and you are going to be actually it's mirrored it's completely mirrored you're both going to be finances career happiness finances career happiness um you may i i feel like you'll both be focused on your physical body as well um i see a lot of focus on the physical body now that doesn't have to be i'm in the gym constantly it doesn't have to be that it could be tuning into your um your nervous system resetting your nervous system it could be um, moving slow with your physical body and really listening to your physical body nurturing your physical body um you could be really taking care of your physical body and having spa treatments and things like that um it's going to manifest differently but i i just see a focus for both of you in the physical body but in different ways um so take that as it resonates i'm being shown like dry brushing um, I know that helps the lymphatic system, I think. Um, so I see a lot of that. Um, I'm also being shown like mud facials and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe going to the spa a lot around that time. Or again, if you're going on a trip, there may be a spa there. I don't know. But that I'm being shown like a wall with a starfish on it. So I don't know if some of you guys have a starfish ornament. Or wherever you meet, there may be something to do with a starfish, like a like a painting. I'm literally being shown like a white wall and then blue um, starfish like painted on the wall. Um, let me know what that's about. It could just be something that comes in later on. It's just a it's just a vision I'm being shown. Um, but yeah, I feel like you would have worked through a lot like energetically um, and cleared some some things before this person comes in. So let's get some more cards down pile do you know what i'll do i'll run over in a second and grab my cards to get some like traits of like you know hair color eye color those type of things but remember with those it is a general reading to so take them as they resonate i'll go grab them in a sec pile number one um pile number one's future spouse please for guys i said going into this reading i was like i'll just keep this short and sweet it's gonna be 15 minutes long and i look at the clock and it's it's 22 minutes in already so that's that's that i feel like i've only been speaking for 10 minutes i thought wow i'm keeping on track and i'm i never am <laughs> um pile number one please for guides we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's why I feel you're meeting as friends. And I feel like the more, where's this person, where's this person? I feel like that leads you into a frustrated energy and you're being called to let go of that and fall back and surrender. Um, when we surrender, we enter our destination. So yeah, I feel like this is why you're meeting as friends because otherwise there might be a lot of control in it. Um, whereas you're learning to really see each other first. So it's like, there's no really control there because you just, you know, there's no need to have the defences fully up. Um, the boundaries will be in place. Um, you'll be making sure of that and so will they. But it's like, you know, defences are, are down a sec and we can be a bit vulnerable here. Um, we're not under attack, you know. Um, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. When you get into an actual partnership, 
an engagement won't follow too long after. Now, not in the sense of it being love bombing, in the sense of you will have really known each other before you actually get in a relationship. There really would have been some time together and you might even go through something together that's like brings you really close. Could be some healing, um, could travel a little bit together. Um, you could just be constantly with each other, maybe like work, career, something like that. But there's something that makes you very close. The relationship that happens not long after will be um, engagement. And I am being shown pregnancy too. So if you do want kids, I do see that happening. If you don't want kids, just completely rebuke that. But I do feel for those of you that do want kids, uh, it will happen. Um, one more card from this deck, please. Pound number one. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. There's going to be a lot of like lightheartedness in the sense of there is going to be flirting. There is going to be talk of things like that. But there's no, I'm not seeing either of you having this feeling come of like, maybe this is all they want. What if they're just saying it? like that? Because that, I feel like that's seeded your brain before and theirs. It's not going to be there because something's already established. There's already a, I care for you care about you like it's, it's like that so there's there's no need to like add, is what they're saying true and you know are they just saying these things because it's like no because i know them that's already established first i think you lay the foundations for that to kind of come in and grow and like i said connection to the inner child we have um playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine um so i'm just gonna pull this oracle card and then i'll just get the little cards of like little personality traits and things like that um pile number one please spirit guides pile number one's future spouse <gasps> too many cards too many cards fell hang on sorry guys these cards are so hard to shuffle pile number one future spouse pile number one future spouse Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. I feel like when you meet this person, you're going to feel very intuitively drawn to them. I feel like you're going to feel quite safe with them quite quickly. I think that's how you're going to know. And with the butterfly cards, with the butterflies on the card, and we have this little thing by the third eye, I think you're going to feel intuitively called to them. You're going to feel butterflies, but not in the way that I feel like you've had before. Um, cause it feels safe. It feels, I'm like leaning into you. Like I'm not feeling resistance. It's like, I want to know you. You know what I mean? Um, and anytime that a trigger or a fear may come up, you're being called to recenter into your heart space because it knows. It's just what I'm being told. It knows. Um, so let's get the cards. Give me two seconds. Let me go and grab them. I actually don't know where they are. Um, they're on my shelf somewhere. I have so many cards. It's just, I really don't need this many. Um, personality and physical traits. We've got it. If you remember back in the day, in the OG days, <laughs> I used to use these all the time. I made them myself. So let's get in. So final, remember now, this is just a general reading. So if you don't like what's said or a colour, do not worry. Because there's a lot of you watching. But we're just going to see what comes through. So pile number one. Pile number one's future spouse. What can you tell me about pile number one's future spouse, please, spirit guides? Oh, a few of them jumped out then we have past life connection i'm not shocked at that to be honest with you for for me to be shown the branches and you guys um kind of blended into each other then it's like that's like a soul union you know what i mean so it's it's got to be um a soul connection then a past life connection we have gifts i feel like this person's um one of this person's love languages is going to be um gift given um we have straight hair so this person may have straight hair i'm being shown like sleek hair sleek straight hair um pile number one what can you tell me about pile number one's future spouse <gasps> hang on i 
fell on the floor, as usual. Pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number one's future spouse. What was that? Athletic. Maybe in the gym a lot. They could do sports. Pile number one. I feel like they run. I'm being somebody, showing somebody running. Pile number one. We have spiritual. I'm not shocked at that. I feel like they're very gonna they're gonna be connected to their soul, um, very co connected to their energy. Bye. Just trying to eat the plant. Quality time. A lot of quality time because I feel like that's how you build each other's trust and that's how you build the connection in the first place. This connection is very physical and in your face. This is what I mean. It's like boom, it's here. Um, and I'm around this person a lot. We have work, so you'll meet each other through some sort of work endeavor. I'm a workaholic, so it could just be that this person's very focused on work at the time. Um, like I said, they feel very career-based. I did feel that. Um, very focused on that. Um, however, it could be that you do meet each other through work for both of them to come through. Pile number one. Pile number one. Future spouse. Pile number one. We have Shy. We have one year apart. So it could be that um, you both are one year apart in age. It could also be that within the next year, you might meet this person um, or something like that. That's just something coming through as well. It could also be with a one year apart. Like I was saying, energy wise, this person goes through something, then you follow. What they're going through, you then follow suit. So it's like one year apart. Do you get what I mean? So like it's on earthly times around about a year later, you will go through something. So they could go through, let's say, an ego death. A year later, you start going through it. Um, it's, it's that sort of thing. Why with shy? This person may be somebody that's a lot more... Um, not speak what I'm spoken to, but more observant. Um... People can see that as shy. I feel like you may, may make them feel a little bit shy, especially when they start to like feel certain feelings towards you. Um, or they could just find you attractive and then kind of you make them feel a little bit shy. They might not know what to say um, because I'm seeing it kind of directed towards you. So I feel like you might make them shy or they could find you shy. We have deep. I, this connection is going to get very emotionally deep because you're really going to learn each other and then of course we have slow and steady so like i said you're not just going to jump into the deep end it'll be too much of a shock it's gonna slowly you're gonna slowly head down there together um yeah i keep hearing point of view um by ariana grande um and we have talkative at the back of the deck so i feel like you guys are gonna be having a lot of chit chats and i feel like even like 10 years into the marriage i just see you guys talking constantly i literally see two old people like literally sitting in like let's say a conservatory like a little glass house and i just see them like looking and being like you know energy wise right now this is happening and like this is happening and it's like you start talking about something and it's it's a fresh conversation it's like how are you keeping it fresh you've been with each other like 60 years 50 years how are you keeping it fresh but there's just new things constantly it's like new ideas new things coming through it's just like or like i see like two people looking at a garden and be like i have an idea for this you know what i mean like i have an idea to change this it's like constantly evolving it's it's quite it's quite nice. I quite like that. I really like that. Um, so pal one, that is what I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what your future spouse is going to be like, the energies, how you're going to meet. I'm going to keep it nice and open. We're just going to allow it to flow um and we'll see what happens so let's get in so pile number two pile number two is future spouse oh i also have brought my trusty deck out with the like little personality traits and things like that on it so um we'll be pulling those towards the end pile number two's future spouse pile number two's future spouse what can you tell me about pile number two's future spouse we have the eight of shells we have temperance pile number two is future spouse six of acorns pile number two is future spouse 
Two of Feathers, King of Shells, Pile Number Two's Future Spouse, Love, which is the Lovers, Pile Number Two's Future Spouse, Five of Acorns, which is the Five of Wands. Seven of Crystals. Both of you are powerhouses. Both of you may have a lot of fire in your chart. I see you guys being quite opinionated, both of you. Um, and it doesn't just have to... When I say opinionated, I don't mean like you're like the loudest in the room and always have an answer. I mean like you both know exactly what you want. Um, and maybe you would have been alone sometimes so there might not have really been need to compromise. And that's what you're going to be really learning with each other. And I think that's where you might butt heads at the beginning um, is learning to compromise with each other. Um, because I almost do feel a little bit of friction when you do first meet. Um, almost like it's not going to start. There's flirtiness, there's lightheartedness, um, there's a draw to each other. But I don't feel like it's it's like, oh yeah, let's start dating and be in a relationship. It's like this person irritates me, you know, and it frustrates me. Um, but the reason it happens is because of how alike you are. You're so alike that it's like having to really, um, it's like igniting the flame is easy, but it's like trying to stop the flame from like burning the house down. It's like keeping it contained and compromising and, there's a lot of that and I think that's what you're teaching each other because I feel like either you both may be like older siblings you both may have had to really take the lead earlier on in life and being shown someone with a Capricorn moon somebody may have a lot of like Capricorn placements um Aquarius placements um even Sagittarius placements so there's like I know how I like everything and I know how I like my life and I know how I like things done and I'm not budging for anyone and then the other person's like I know how I like my life I know how I like things done I'm not budging for anyone but you're learning to compromise with each other let somebody else take the lead sometimes you're learning to do that um which is gonna um there's going to be, when I say battles, I don't mean like you're going to be at each other's throat. This is nothing toxic at all. It's just that learning to coexist. And um, yeah, there's, there's going to be, yeah, like one of you is going to think the other's a little bit of a know-it-all. Like there's, there's a feeling of that, but I almost feel it's humorous. Like I'm sitting in the energy and I don't know how it's coming across to you, but to me, like I'm sitting in it, it's, it's very humorous. And I feel like there's also a lot of laughter because there's like sooner you get under each other's skin and you may annoy each other five minutes later it's like you're feeling all these love energies and it, it's just it wasn't that you know what it never was that serious like you know and it's just like laughter and um excitement again there's a lot of passion a lot of excitement i'm hearing there's a light and it never goes out so it's like constantly rolling it's like a fixed energy maybe a lot of leo um in both of you guys' chart as well the back of the deck you have the magician um okay yeah i feel like either one or both of you i feel like i'm being taken more so to you um you may have really been scorned a little bit or had someone maybe really take a lot of your energy or take um you for granted or take advantage of you or you may have been somebody that always did things for other people and let it go their way and then it was like no like there came a point where it was like i'm done with this i want to do things my way i want to get to know what i like and then i see you guys for quite a stretch of time um really focused on what you like and your needs and and placing everything where it's meant to be to the point that it's very um everything's where it needs to be like everything's I like it like this. I don't want anything to tear it up. But it's like, they're doing it too. Like, your future spouse does it too. And then I see spirit like, but they need to coexist. Like, when you were the tribe, you coexist. And, like, they need to do that. And they're going to have to, at one point, meet up. And the relationship's going to form. And they both kind of, like, built this little house and just don't want to budge. And, like, we're going to have to do something here. And it's almost like paths are being drawn and then it's like you're both just like i like the color yellow i like the color blue and it's just like there's just like a little bit of friction um before you coexist uh because you're learning to flow into each other it's like i want to take the lead no i want to take the lead and i think maybe for some of you guys 
the feeling of taking the lead is to be more in control so that maybe it protects you and that's where you're both going to break each other's walls down um but it's not a case of like i'm coming into you when you're doing my way or i'm coming into you when you're doing my way you're both going to learn to be like okay let me fall back let me just compromise this little thing here and then you're like okay well let me compromise this little thing here then and then it just starts to and you start to come into each other's worlds then start to kind of compromise and and balance like that um which is really beautiful in a balanced way because i feel like you know how you both know how to do for others and take care of others and do what maybe other people want it's just that maybe there's been an extreme of like focusing on other people and then focusing on self there's never been a balance um you're both coming into balance that you will frustrate each other at the beginning i'm not even gonna lie there is gonna be a frustration of just like oh like I don't want to come out of my comfort zone or I don't want, you know, and it, I feel like that's the growth part right at the beginning. Um, it's reminding me of the ugly truth. If you've ever watched that, um, the woman on it, the, the girl on it, um, she <laughs> has everything her way. I think she's like, uh, like a boss. So she's quite high up on like this TV show thing and she's got everything in order and everything's kind of to the point that it might be a little bit uptight. And then the guy comes in and he's like, kind of the complete opposite and he's more whimsical and they really don't like each other but then they start really falling for each other um once they start to kind of let each other in so it's kind of that sort of thing if i had to give a reference to something uh yeah yeah because six of acorns and the two of fathers it's like learning learning to balance the give and take but it, it's almost like i'm still there's little triggers coming through of like the last time i gave i got nothing back i don't want to do this uh and that like the last time i gave i got nothing back i don't want to do this but then you're both drawn to each other so it's like uh and then one of you just starts to slowly you know it's kind of like that your person's very uh i feel like they're they're quite talkative i'm seeing gemini come through um very communicative very that kind of i want to do this I'm, I'm gonna go do it and I feel like this person's gonna push you out of your comfort zone. It's like uh, you say, I've always wanted to go to Poland. And they're like, okay, well, we've got the money, we've got the resources, we've got the time, let's book and just randomly fly out next week. And you're like, I can't do that. And they're like, why? You literally just said you wanna go, why, why aren't you doing it, you know? And I feel like you both do that to each other a lot where you'll kind of put, not pressure, it's not pressure, it's, it's more so like, making you think differently like you know what i will do this you know what i will jump out of this uh and there's there's a lot of confidence to be had i keep seeing fire like igniting lots of passion i feel like in that area you know the passionate area where things can get very passionate i have to keep it with an innuendo because i can't um you know what youtube's like um that's gonna be really good that's gonna be really really good like that's just not no work needed there that's gonna be fine um i see you both be like having a lot of energy being quite um active or i just feel like you give each other a lot of energy because there's a lot of fire in you both so it's almost like you ignite each other a lot i think you inspire each other a lot i see you both really pushing each other to be better um like i see somebody in the gym like come on come on i don't know whether this person's like a fitness trainer because i just saw that but i see you both pushing each other in a really good way um because you're both very much motivators you're both very much activators so you're both pushing each other like, you should do that job you should you should do that you should you know you should do that you're, you're the best at this like you've got to do this and it kind of goes in that way whereas at the beginning it's like i already know i'm good don't tell me what to do because it, it's like defenses are up it takes a second and that's where there's a little bit of friction uh yeah and it's gonna it's gonna really take its time for energies to settle for you to it's like you're learning to ignite the fire and balance it instead of um, you may have had a lot of connections where they were very short-lived, but very fast, fast and furious, you know, passionate, burns out. So it's like flame ignited, gone, flame ignited, gone. And you're both learning to like slowly ignite the flame, build it up, build it up, build it up so that you're not, you know, blowing the house up or, you know, there's no fire spreading through the land. It's like, it's where it needs to be. It's contained and it's growing from here. Um, so I think you're both learning to do that uh lots of banter in this connection as well a lot of banter if you well it, it's a 
future spouse um, reading. So when it comes to marriage, it wouldn't shock me if you got married away from a hometown or it was like a dis like a, a quick decision. I'm not saying you're just gonna randomly elope to Vegas, but I just see like uh, you getting inspired to do something. It it's like. Like, I see you visiting somewhere, maybe going on a holiday somewhere, going on a trip somewhere, a retreat, and it's like, it would be really nice to get married here. And then it kind of goes from there. You both get very inspired by things, by life, um, by each other, and you kind of contain that, you know? One of you is a little bit more reasonable and logical in the sense of, let's think about this, and I feel that might be you. But the other one's more do, 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 like physical, let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. But both of you are very mental at the same time. So one of you is very like maybe watery and mental. So like water and air, water and air signs. Whereas the others want like more fire and fire and earth, it feels. I don't know. That's kind of how it's coming through. It's quite interesting but you work together it's 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 really interesting but it's you are both coming into this with different sets of eyes but you learn then to look at life through each other's sets of eyes if that makes sense because it's like you have a certain way of doing things that's got you to a certain point but you need to like evolve from that so you need to learn new things this person has the key and then they've gotten to a certain point where they've done things their way but they need to evolve from that you have the key so it's like they're both mending together so you can continue to like ignite that i feel like you would have gone so far and it's like right now we're swapping because i feel like you're then becoming more like their energy more of a doer more out there more vocal more um more open to being seen whereas they're becoming a lot more softer and slower and intuitive and taking their time and thinking and you're both teaching each other that it's really really beautiful it's like you you both know that you have a lot to teach each other it's it's yeah it's it's really really beautiful but i i do feel like this connection is going to come from some time on your own because we have the eight of shells it's like walking away from disappointment and temperance pouring that balance back in and i feel like you're going to get so content with where you're at i feel like you're not going to want to compromise and that's where this friction is going to come from um it's not wanting to compromise at all but you do because then we have the king of shells in love which is the lovers so i see that kind of like slowly building because i feel like that i feel like your person is used to rushing in um but it doesn't work out because then it just falls apart and they're like what's going wrong what's going wrong whereas i feel like you may have your defenses up where it's like stay at bay <laughs> stay away from me um boundaries up I will maybe talk to you over the phone and see you twice a week. Like, I don't know whether I want to do this. Um, or you don't let people too in. You could even be around people, but you don't let them fully really see you. So it's like, you both need to learn each other's ways a little bit. Um, but in a balanced way. Because, you know, it, it's like in a, in a balanced way. Like, you're not going to start jumping and, and going full force. You're going to balance it out with the energies you already have. It's going to complement it. And same with your person uh i see a lot of i don't know if this person games or you game i just see a lot of gaming and things like that uh i see a lot of i i feel like your person's quite uh like a bit of a hostess like a little bit of a they make people feel included they know how to make people feel included they know how to make people feel good i feel like they know how what to say uh very kind like that very much a people person i feel like your person is i do think you're a people person um but i feel like a resistance from you guys when i say that but yours is in a different way i think that you see people you analyze people you get people you know whereas this person needs to learn that and i feel like this person it's like let me bring you out your shower. Let's have it. Like, it's that sort of thing. And I feel like you need to learn that. And that's the... the What you're learning from each other. And I feel like this connection and, and this marriage, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be really fun. I see you really 
shining out I feel like this person's gonna be like you know that picture I think it was like Kim and Kanye um not the best couple you know I don't nothing you're nothing like them believe me <laughs> um but there was a picture that I found funny and it was of I think it was them anyway and it was like Kim and Kanye was behind and he had his arms out like this and he was like look as if like look at her not me look 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 so it's like it's kind of like that I feel like they're gonna push you to like yeah say that because I, I do what I do I see you guys like thinking something and then go on I don't like that this person's done that or I don't like that that person's done that and they're like say it tell them now you know say it why are you being quiet they're gonna keep doing it say it say it and you're like oh my god because you're getting frustrated because it's uncomfortable and you're like no no and they're like this person's got something to say and you're like oh my god why would you do that but it's like pushing you to just say things and then after you say it it's like the person doesn't take offense like it's like oh no I'm, I'm sorry like whatever and then you're like okay that wasn't that bad okay so it's like they, they kind of push you in that way which can be really frustrating um I also see this person being really funny um I feel like you guys um yeah I feel like this person's quite funny he's reminding me a little bit of Donkey from Shrek like <laughs> like you know he's like are we there yet are we there yet like and I feel like this person does it though to lighten the mood to because I feel like maybe sometimes you might be in your mind a lot so this person I've, I want to laugh because it's like you're getting frustrated but it's also like it's making you be more light-hearted and that's how they're bringing that out of you because it's like you're sitting there and you're getting frustrated over something small maybe and then it's like they're poking and they're like you know I'm just seeing donkey to Shrek when he does the like and he like annoys him so he's like doing that but it's funny and then it gets you laughing and then you're kind of like joking you know what I mean whereas like for you to them it's like this person could be going through something and they're trying to laugh it off but you see them because that's the thing that you do you see them so you're like hang on a minute what did you just say and it's like why are you laughing about that that's serious how do you actually feel about this and then they're getting frustrated because they're like I don't want to talk about this and you're like no seriously how does that make you feel you know how does that let's talk about this let's get it out it needs to come out and they're like oh my god so it's it's you're really pushing each other there and that's where that frustration comes later on down the line but it's growth um and you see how it all kind of like blends like that it, it's it's actually really really beautiful i feel like you and this person gonna be quite outdoorsy um if you go on like dates and things i feel like you're gonna be outdoors this person feels like they need to burn off steam pick up a lot of Aquarius from you guys because I keep being shown Uranus like I keep being shown that um an Aquarius energy quite strong pile number two <laughs> lack of control issue I'm not shocked this came out at all <laughs> came out for pile one too but we all know why this came out here allow the situation to unfold naturally I don't even think I need to over explain that. I feel like that's very self explanatory because I've already spoken about it. Um, you're gonna wanna control it at first and it's gonna be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, but then it's like you let you let go. Um, pile number. We have children. Your love life has been affected by children. I don't see either of you having kids before you meet. You could do, um, but I almost feel like you're going to have kids together. That's what I'm kind of picking up. Like, yes, okay, it can connect to the inner children and the, the inner child and and that. And yes, that's part of it. Because I do see you guys, you know, playing a lot, adventurous, doing things like that. But I do feel like you're going to have kids. Pile number... It's like the four elements coming together, but you may have, take a look in your chart, what two elements you lack. Because I'm being told you have an influx of two particular elements and this person's going to have an influx of two particular elements, but they're going to be opposite. Now it doesn't have to be, it could just be, that's what I'm seeing energetically. And it could be those elements just representing you. Um, I know one of yours is probably air. I can feel that. But um and one of those is definitely fire. <laughs> I can feel that. But whatever there's like a like a drought of like an energy or even a sign. Think of a sign in your chart that like you don't have a lot of. For example, mine is Taurus. I don't have a lot of Taurus in my chart at all. Um, so think of that. And then it's like that person's going to really embody it. You know? 
um it wouldn't shock me if it's a fire sign oh god one more card from this deck please spirit guides pile number twos we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership there's going to be work having to be put in because there's going to have to be compromises having to be put in um 100 but it's not difficult in the sense of i want to be with this person and it's hard to it's going to be very easy to be with this person it's both of your maybe control issues or both of your um uh shells keeping you safe that's going to be creating the friction the friction isn't isn't in the actual connection because you're very drawn to each other there's there's definitely a lot of electricity that you feel and as time goes on lots and lots of love that grows and lots of passion but the friction comes from maybe you're not wanting to give it a chance or not wanting to surrender to certain things and that's what you're both learning to do uh the back of the deck you guys have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring you are going to be super drawn to your person um pile number uh two pile number two pile number two is future spouse connection with a future spouse pile number two is connection with a future spouse okay so we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads yeah i feel like you're both going to be rigid at first being a little bit scared to uh be vulnerable i'm hearing selena gomez's song vulnerable which is funny because i was actually listening to that this morning um i think that's going to be the song for you guys vulnerable selena gomez yeah because i feel like you're both feeling the pull but it's like you're resisting it you know when you know it's time to like shift jobs or you know it's time to like let go of that person and you really don't want to so you hold on for dear life but it's getting more and more complicated because you have to let go i see that but the opposite direction it's like i'm wanting to stay in the shell and the universe is like pushing you out the shell like no you need to open up like it's time to open up this is your person this is your person and you're like yeah but it's too daunting they keep asking me questions i don't answer and they keep doing this and that and it's like the universe is like no you need to learn you need to go and you're like no 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 like holding on to the shell i see that because it keeps you safe i get it like you're not doing necessarily anything wrong i do it constantly <laughs> um especially when it comes to like career shifts and energy shifts and things like that i do it constantly i hold on for dear life um because it's safe you know, when we feel comfortable, we're safe. We've built that comfort to make ourselves safe. So I get it. Um, but you're going to grow outside of the shell. And so is your person. And you're going to learn that with each other. So let me... Um, let's take a look. Now, remember, this is a general reading. So these cards specifically with, you know, traits and things like that. Um, if you don't like something, it's not, it doesn't have to be concrete. There's a lot of you watching, okay? Um, pile number two... Pile number two's future spouse. What can you tell me about pile number two's future spouse? I just feel like they're really funny. I feel like in a room they're cracking people up. Um, we have slow and steady. Deep. Yeah, because you're both gonna have to learn to control the fire. Pile and um, pile number two. Travel. You may meet them traveling. You may travel together. I feel like you might have wanted to travel, but then thought, I can't do that. I can't do that. But it's like, no, let's make it happen. You know, they may have traveled quite a bit. That's maybe where they get that kind of free spiritedness from. Um, they may have a lot of ninth house placements, Sagittarius in their chart. Um, but with the deep, I feel like you're, you're, you are really, really going to connect and you're going to teach each other to go deep in different ways. It's like, they're needing to go deeper into the ocean and, and, and it kind of go deep that way and really think and ponder on their own feelings and things like that. Whereas you're going to need to stray from the ocean and you're going to need to um, learn from other people and face fears, you know, out of the ocean and, you know, with people and, and physically be doing certain things that will push you to activate new parts of yourself. So it's like, 
okay we're going to swim this far into the ocean I'm going to teach you how to get down here and then you're going to bring me up here and then I'm going to go quite far out from the ocean here and it, it, it's like you're both doing that and teaching each other and, and going back and forth it's really lovely pile number we have shy one thing I will say though this person isn't shy <laughs> so I feel like they might think you're shy when you meet um because this person's not shy I want to laugh saying it because I, I just don't feel like they are um like they might even say that to you and this has come up in a reading before you might have watched it for me where I felt someone going you're shy aren't you you're shy you're quite quiet aren't you and then it's like a frustration it's like yeah well you're show off so you know it's like it's like a banterous thing then um yeah same age so you're gonna be in the same age range that can be from like a year apart two years apart whatever you see is the same age range um what have we got here family orientated i feel like this person because i don't know why when i think and this isn't going to be for everybody but they're specific um they may have a lot of siblings because i'm being shown joey Tribbiani from friends and he had like 12 sisters i think it was he might have had less than 12 i don't know i know he had a lot of them um and i don't know there's kind of like a big family sort of thing like i'm being shown the magic girls um from Encanto you know um lots of family lots of opinion and this is the thing I think they might have had to learn to be seen and be opinionated because I feel like maybe people in their family are quite loud talkative there's lots going on so they've had to learn to like kind of hold their own like that and have banter and that's how they've learned it or maybe you guys you may be um only children or you may have had to uh be a bit of a caretaker for like one or two siblings or something like that it's a different dynamic that you've had growing up uh you've had both ends of the spectrum it wouldn't shock me if like you only have maybe one other sibling or something like that and maybe there's like an age gap so you've never had to really assert yourself too much it's just like things always gone your way because maybe you were the older one or something like that and people have just followed you've never had to like have maybe big personalities so it's like you kind of had to just do your own thing whereas i feel like this person and a lot of them come from like a a family where there's a lot of voices and and a lot of opinions and a lot of um a lot of enthusiasm you know there's, there's a lot going on because i'm thinking of the magic girls that had they all had their own power you know one of them was like could make flowers the other one was um, she could hear things from far away so it's like we're all doing different things and it's you know and it, I feel like that's where they come from and that's why they're like that because that's how they grew up you know because we tend to be a product of our environment um I feel like they have a big family pile number two please for guides pile number two we have psychic I feel like this is a psychic connection I want to say I don't feel like your person's too psychic though in the sense that they are they just don't realize it because everyone's connected to their psychic abilities but we strengthen things and i feel like this person has not ever really thought of strengthening anything like that and i think that through you they might actually through you they will um and ponder on that um and find interests there as well which is going to be a little bit out of the depth but i feel like they might uh it's quite interest in them because when i actually tap in i think that this person's actually very intuitive and this is the thing they're intuitive but they don't know how to nurture it so like they'll have an idea or like they'll have maybe a clairvoyant message or they'll have like they'll see a timeline in front of them but instead of nurturing it and and kind of understanding what it means they'll just run towards it it's like boom because it's they think it's an idea and you have nurtured it so it's like i'm gonna follow this and because you think a lot you've got a lot of thoughts i have to say that a lot a lot going on in the brain you know whereas they've got a lot going on physically because they're just doing a lot they're busy bee. whereas you're like i'm a busy bee but i'm up here um so you nurture it why am i feeling this way what do i need to heal what's you know and i think that's what sometimes they lack and i think you're going to help them kind of nurture that you know 
Whereas they're going to have you, when I say not think too much, I'm not saying you're going to stop thinking so much. Like, no, that's just part of you. Um, but sometimes too much of it, we can spiral into um, getting stuck on a wheel, um, getting stuck with maybe negative thoughts. You know, like when you uh, are creating something and you keep going at it because it's not perfect enough when it really was, but we're hard on ourselves. They're almost going to put a stop to that and help you stop doing that and just be like, no, I've done it and it's good. You know, because sometimes you can keep going over something and they're going to help you put a stop to it. Um, or help you learn how to kind of, kind of control it and just let go. Pile number two's future spouse, please, spirit guides. Sensitive. I feel like this person wears their heart on their sleeve. Um... I feel like this person likes to sing. They might be a singer. They might be in a band. I don't know. I just feel like they like to sing. They don't have to be in a band. They just like music or singing. Uh, yeah, they wear the heart on their sleeve. Big hearts. Big hearts. And they say what they feel in that moment. It's like, this is how I feel. Uh, I don't feel like they hide anything like that. We have the dollar sign. I think they're going to be quite focused on money, making money um because it's like they go after for what like what they want you know we have divine masculine so this person may be the divine masculine in the um connection they may have more masculine traits god it's fallen we have medium height whatever medium height means for you Like I'm four foot nine, so medium height to me is probably super short to other people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but you know, which is funny because anytime I've actually been with anyone or in a relationship, they've been six foot four, six foot five, and I'm four nine. So you can imagine their height difference there. Um, I don't even think I've been near anyone under six foot. I don't know why. You'd think I'd go for more smaller people too, but I don't. I don't know why I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Um, but whatever medium height means for you though. Pile number two. Smile. This person's going to make you smile a lot. I see them doing little silly things. And like, I see like you know, just bringing you little things that you like or just being funny. It's like, I see them down. I guess it's like they're looking at you and they can see it. You're overthinking and it's like, let's do something fun. You know, Karen from Mean Girls and she's like, want to go to Taco Bell? Like, I just see that. It's like a fun, it's like light hat. It's like, come on, like, let's just laugh. Let's just have fun. YOLO, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. We have blue eyes at the back of the deck. Um, remember, if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. But that's what we've got at the back of the deck. You could have blue eyes. They could have blue eyes. That one just was there when I picked up the cards. Glasses. I don't know if you saw. I picked up the cards and that stayed behind glasses. So you or them may have glasses or wear glasses. Maybe to read. Maybe to drive. Or maybe just constantly. Uh, yeah. I feel like this person has a really nice smile as well. I feel like this person likes your smile too. I just feel like I'm smiling a lot. I don't know, you can't see me and I'm glad you can because I just keep moving my cheeks to smile. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is really, I feel like this is like really positive. I see like you're really going to grow. It's really cute. So pal two, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at your future spouse. So I'm going to let this reading kind of take us where it needs to take us. I'm going to start with tarot and we'll move into the oracle cards. And yeah, whatever wants to come through, whether it's how you meet, the energies, I feel like I've got a bit of a mixed bag with pile one and two. So um, it will probably be the same with you guys. So let's get in. So the limpid pile, please spirit guides, the limpid pile. When I'm looking at the limpet, like I'm thinking of, you know, when you see limpets and they're on rocks, you can't move them off that rock. They're so sucked on, they can't come off. Like, they're literally just like, I almost feel when you meet, it's like, boom, that's it. That's how it's feeling. It's like, oh my God, we blend really well. And it's like, eyes just for you, like, boom. Um, and it settles in. 
it, it's almost like you're here and you weren't here and now you're here and it's just like i'm not even looking up i've i've got i've got what i came here for it's like when you go into a shop and you think you're gonna have to like walk around the shop and get loads of the ingredients but then you walk in and what you want is right there so you literally just grab it go to the checkout and head out it's like oh my god it's here it's gonna be simple it's like boom you know i hope that made sense pile number three pile number three please spirit guides pile number three pile number three is future spouse please spirit guides we have the four of shells pile number three you're not going to be satisfied with people around you when this person comes in like people trying to get to know you in that way like i see you going on like a couple of dates and it's just like because you're the type of person as well where it's like it's either here or it's not i either like you or i don't like it's not i don't think yes you're a grower in the sense of growing feelings but you know if there's chemistry with someone or if there isn't so it's like i see you going on maybe like a date or two and just feel like no this isn't it like yeah okay i'll talk to you and it's it's fun i guess but it's just like i'm not impressed because i think that you're gonna be very like i know my needs i know what i want i know this i know that and it's like no and it's this because it's like you know what you want just like your search and it's like i know what i want and i know this isn't it and it's like intuitively it's like i know there's something else i know that there is because i it's almost like i've seen it so i don't know if you're gonna have dreams of this person before you meet them um it may be you know through meditation you just think of a sort of energy that you'd like and it's like no i'll know that feeling when i when i see it um but whoever you're meeting before this person comes in because there's going to be a couple of people like around you you're just like man i don't know i, I don't i don't want to settle with none of this i don't want i don't want none of this i'm not uh I'm not interested. It's reminding me of Bridgerton. If you've watched the first series of Bridgerton and Eloise has to, um, no, it's not Eloise. What's her name? Daphne. Daphne, she has to um, be married to one of these guys and she, you know, dances with a couple of them and they, they sit and they talk to her. Nothing, absolutely nothing is making her feel any type of way. She's like, meh. And then obviously she met, meets the Duke and obviously falls in love with him. But it's like that. It's like, it's either there or it's not. And if it's not sticking, it's not sticking. I'm not going to force it to either, you know? Um, pile number three is future spouse, three spirit guides. We have the two of feathers temperance pile number three i feel like you would have really i feel like maybe in the past you might have compromised your needs a lot maybe being in some imbalance connections where like you might have just thought i would like this but they don't have it and it's okay and then it got to a point where like you just weren't putting your needs in and people like you met people's needs but they might not have met yours and i feel like when you're going to go through a period which you may even be going through now where you're like getting to know who you are so it's like i know what i like i know what i don't like i know what i want out of a relationship i'm connected to what i want emotionally mentally physically spiritually every way and it's like when before this person comes in it's almost like it's almost like um spirits like look at this person they're acting like this person from the past do you want them and you're like no and then another person comes and it's like they're acting like this person from the past you want them and you're like no and it's like listening to your intuition like i'm not settling like i'm not like i know what i want and then that's when you meet that person you know what i mean um pile number because i feel like you might meet someone right before you meet your future spouse that's going to be like somebody from the past that you would have had some sort of like connection with where you would have learned a bit about yourself and i think you're going to pick up on it straight away it's like you're not fooling me I, I don't want this i i know what you're about and it's about trusting your own intuition um because we have the five acorns there as well which is the five of wands pal number three please spirit guides pal number three is future spouse pal number three is future spouse we have the traveler which is the fool that's popped out a lot actually uh we have the hermit contemplation wisdom pile number we have the five of shells 
seven of crystals what's funny is <laughs> you're gonna know what you want but when the person that has a lot of these traits that you want comes in i don't think you're going to be super aware that this person's come in because i'm being taken to harry potter and when he loved um i know her last name was chang i can't remember her first name but he really liked her and she was focused on Cedric Diggory, the one that passed away. And he keeps like fumbling and trying to talk to her and like asks her to prom, which has already been asked. And he's like kind of clumsy around her and like, cause he likes her. And she, you can see she likes him, but she's obviously focused elsewhere. Um, and I'm being shown a scenario like that like you're not going to look at this person like oh my god this is the person that has everything i want like you're not gonna see it uh straight away i don't know why i feel like there's something you're coming to a realization about because there's other people around you when you meet this person and um, we have the page of acorns which is the page of wands at the back of the deck um yeah so you're not going to really see that they're there and then i think the minute that you look up and see that they're there that's when this limpet thing happens where you're just connected and that's it it's like we're stuck like glue it's like we're part of each other now like this is a thing and it, it flows pretty easy like that um feels very safe maybe in the past you've been used to connections that um were a bit imbalanced or a bit more um push and pull kind of like a tom and jerry dynamic runner chaser and maybe you haven't had a connection before this person that's a lot more simple slow uh a lot more deep but peaceful and i think maybe that's why you don't recognize it because you could friend zone this person i think or just look over them um like well this is just going too slow well it's just kind of acting like a friend but it's like you're learning about each other first until something grows whereas the other people it's like they may be coming in a bit hot and heavy but they're not they're showing you parts that there's just red flags like i'm not compromising but this person isn't showing you red flags this person's like slow and steady and i think they're quite practical we're very mature because it's just like well i'll just invest a little bit um if they're interested you know like i like them i'm just gonna slowly and I think you're going to feel, this is the thing as well, you're going to feel safe. I think your inner child is going to feel safe. I think you're going to be quite confident around this person. And I think that you're going to be, um, you're going to have some fun, but it's going to be peaceful. It's going to be calm. It's it's very intimate. And I think you're just not going to fully recognize it for some time. I think there's going to be quite a few dates, um, just being around each other. And I think something hasn't broken yet like you haven't had that one deep conversation that changes everything yet or you haven't begun the flirtiness yet because maybe this person's wanting to be respectful or maybe you just you know maybe there was a friendship being born there first so it just didn't happen yet like there's something that snaps which is when the, the love juices let's say i think that might be a bit weird to say but like that's when it starts coming through but for a minute it's like you're not looking because i keep being shown the harry potter scenario where he really likes her and he asks her on date and he's quite interested in her but she's just focused elsewhere at the time they do end up i'm sure um having a little thing together but um it's after a minute so i think you're almost eliminating it's like a pool of people and you're eliminating the red flags and then this person's around you're like you have no red flags at all i haven't seen one like yeah okay i can see you know why we're a bit different but like you quite like I see them being quite dependable it's very Taurus it's very um practical they're quite nurturing and I think they give you space it's like I'm I'm giving I'm setting the scene for you to step onto it like I'm setting the red carpet for you to step onto it I'm creating the steps so you can climb onto it like the, they're quite like they feel very buildery they feel very um uh practical work career like you know it's like i'm building the house you can live in it sort of thing it's like i'm they're gonna be doing a lot of physical action ah 
they're going to be physically showing you they like you whereas maybe the other people around you may be just saying that they like you but not physically doing anything so it will look like there's not much coming from this person in the beginning because the other people are going to be saying all of these things so it's like we're going to do this we're going to do that and i like you and we're going to do this and it's like you're here and it's like cool but then they're not putting in the actual work so you're like well you're saying all of these things but like nothing's happening so i'm off like i'm not investing in this and nothing makes you feel safe to step into it and it's like and you're saying a lot of things and you are and then you get to this person and it's like you've said nothing of what you're going to do but you've done a lot of things you've taken me on dates you've been respectful you've done this you've done that and it's like and i feel quite comfortable around you actually i'm more comfortable around you than i was around anyone else and then your energy starts to shift i think they'll sense it and then it's like that's where the straw breaks that's where the flirtiness comes in that's where you know all of the other fun stuff comes in and it's like oh wow and that's where the love starts to grow that's when it starts to bloom um and i think they invest more than so then you invest more and it's like that it's like they start to you know open up then and then you start to open and it's like it builds from there and i don't know why i feel luxurious you know when you eat expensive chocolate and it's rich and it's like texture and there's depth and there's flavors and you feel like it's like whoa and you don't even need too much of it because it's like this is this is substance at its finest energy wise when i feel how this grows and what type of love it is that's how it's coming through like it's cementing you know it's 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 forming it's cementing it's building and that's why we've got the limp because it's sticking and you can't unstick it all the waves are coming it's like we're stuck because it's like it's like a thick caramel i know it's so weird maybe you guys like chocolate i don't know but like that that's how it happens um which is really really nice really really nice and that's where you build yeah let's pull some more i want to I wanna know more because i want to know about their personality because maybe you don't see little aspects of their personality at first because it's like i'm physically creating something we can climb on to i'm creating a raft so we don't sink so like you're comfortable on that rack and um, raft and then it's like okay um i'm not because that they, this is the thing they are intelligent and they're not stupid so i think they're gonna feel like oh well they're talking to somebody else so they're not gonna invest too much but they're gonna put practical things down like if you want to come on you can come on you know but they're not gonna be like kind of like simping in a way where it's like oh my god please like please love me like please choose me they're not gonna be like that it's very practical and i think that's why you're like eh um because it's not this one i chase so it's like here's the raft if you come on I'll, and you you know and i can see it's real i'll start to invest and i think that's where you know they start to invest then um yeah pile number three pile number three is future spouse please provides religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Pile number three's future spouse, please, for guides. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. In the back of the deck, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this is going to be a... It does... It, it, they always say when you meet like a soulmate and I, I've I've read quotes about this like when you meet a soulmate they don't make you feel these like scary butterflies where you want to run they feel safe and I think that's what's going to happen here um you're going to feel safe and that's how you're going to know because this is like a soulmate thing and when I think of like soulmates that I feel I've met it's it's been a lot more slower and it's just felt right and i haven't felt like oh my god what, what about this what about that i haven't had that even with friendship soulmates it's like i've never felt the need to like have my guard up too much i'll be like well like i've never had that with soulmate friendships either so that's quite interesting um so religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual bath you both may be connected to spirit um i feel like you guys have psychic abilities in the sense of like psychic foresight you can see timelines in front of you and that's why i'm saying you know that you have someone 
that's going to meet certain needs. So it's like, I'm not settling for any of this. Maybe in the past, you knew you had someone that was going to meet those needs, but you projected them on to people that didn't deserve it to be projected on because they weren't doing a whole lot. Um, that could be it. Um, and it was almost like you were giving some of that love there because you, you thought, okay, maybe this is it, maybe this is it, but they weren't meeting the needs. Um, whereas now you're clearly practically looking. Um, but I do feel like you guys are psychic, psychic, psychic abilities. I feel like they're intuitive. I feel like it's the same as like clairvoyant psychic ability. I think you have the mirror in psychic ability there. The psychic foresight, psychic timelines. Whether you both call it that, I don't know. But that that's what I'm seeing from the both of you. Why do we have deception in the middle of the reading? You are, in some ways, going to be really feeling out this person because it, I feel like you've had connections again where it's like they've said a whole lot but then they haven't done it so you felt deceived because it's been like I thought you were this but you're not that so you I feel I see you constantly kind of like maybe trying to catch this person out a little bit like trying to um are you sure that you are what you say you are but then it's like that in itself doesn't have a leg to stand on because they're not telling you I'm going to do this and I'm this. It's just like, no, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to be loyal to you. I'm just going to be loyal. Like, I'm not going to say it. It's like, you know, a lion doesn't need to tell anyone it's a lion. It's just a lion. Like, I'm I'm just going to do it, you know? Um, and I think that's why you're going to start to feel your defenses kind of like come off and be like, oh, okay, I can, you know, I'm going to settle here. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. And then engagement, your love life is ascending to a bigger level of commitment. I mean, this is a future spouse reading. So obviously there's going to be an engagement because there's going to be marriage. But again, there's no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They're literally like, no, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Like they could have an idea to propose to you, but they're not going to say, I'm going to marry you one day. They're literally just going to do it. They're very practical. It's just like, I'm just going to give you that. I'm just going to, I'm not going to tell you I'm going to bring you flowers every day. I'm just going to bring you flowers every day. Uh, it's just physically. I think they're going to really set the bar high. Not that there's going to be someone after them, but I think that the bar is going to be, they're just going to lift, they're just going to come up to the bar and lift it up. Because I feel them doing a lot of things that is making you bloom. It's like, um, I'm going to get the pot ready and I'm going to put the compost in so you can sit yourself in. Um, you know, it's, it's that sort of thing. It's like that they're, they're making you feel safe. And I feel like you do too. I think you make them feel safe opening up with their emotions and saying, I like you, I like this, I like that. And that's why, this is why there's a plug pulled or something snaps when this connection kind of grows because I feel like when you realise that all of the people that had red flags are gone and you realise it's time to open up, that's when this per your energy is going to change towards this person and you're going to be a bit more intimate and a bit more tactile with this person. And then this person's going to be like, oh... Okay, and then you're going to make this person then feel safe to say things like, you know, I do like you or, you know, and, and do these little things and make certain moves like that. So you're going to uh, give that space by like opening up in that way, um, which is really beautiful. So it's like, right, okay, come in this pot and I'll water you. So that's when you, you know, because this is how you know it's healthy because it's give and take. Um, but I think both of you, especially with the deception card in the middle, it's like, scouting for the red flags and they i think that's why they don't invest straight away because it's like is this person interested or are they just you know so it's like i'm investing a little bit i like them and i'll you know we'll, we'll keep it going but when i feel like it's a dead end i'll move on sort of thing so they're very careful of that like i don't want to be deceived and i feel like you're going to be like that as well but i think this person's going to pass the test sort of thing um let's pull some more cards pile number sorry guys my hair was on the table my eyes shed, like my hair just comes out constantly. I don't know why. Pile number three. Oh my God. One card went to the right and one card went to the left. I'm not gonna use them all because we're only gonna have one. Pile number three. Oh my goodness. These, it's my fault. These cards are really hard to shuffle. And look how small my hands are. I've got tiny hands. Pile number three. Pile number three's future spouse, please, spirit guides. Pile number three's future spouse. I forgot how nice it is to do, like, a love reading and, like, a reading like this. My heart feels very good. I forgot how lovely that energy is, you know? Pile number three. So whoever was requesting this, because there's a lot of you requesting these ones, um, thank you very much. 
because I'm glad I'm doing this. It's put me in a good mood. Pile number three. Pile number three is future spouse. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Now, when I think of that, I think of this quote that I saw and it says, we all end up with people that look like us from the inside. And I think that your heart space, their heart space has been looking for something that kind of is the same as them. Um, something that really clicks. And I think that's why you're one of those people where it's like, it's either there or it's not, you know? There's just a certain frequency. And I think you're super aware of that. And I think that when you meet, it's like, no, this is what I needed the whole time. This is what, the, and I needed to understand my needs first to get it. But like, this is what I needed. Like, this is, this is it. This was, this is what I, this is what I wanted, you know? Um, and it's not that maybe like other people, you know, that you might've met that you didn't feel that way with. It's not that they didn't, you know, that they were like bad people. I mean, some of them might be, I don't know your dating history, but it was just like, yeah, but it just didn't fit for me. Um, I see you looking back at other connections and going, yeah, I really never would have worked out because you didn't have this. And I can't even put a word on what this is, but it, it just is. Like it just clicks, it just feels right. You didn't have that. And now I have that. Like it, that, I see you looking at connections like that and being like, this is what I wanted. This was it. This is what was missing. <laughs> like I, I see you guys really, you know, feeling fulfilled there. Um, so let's take a look at your person's personality. Let's go. Pile number threes, future spouse's personality, please, spirit guides. Pile number threes, future spouse's personality. So we have straight hair. I mean, physical traits as well. We have straight hair. Remember with these cards as well, this is a general reading. There's a lot of you watching. It doesn't matter if some of these cards don't resonate or it's not what you want. But also be open-minded because, you know, just be open-minded. Pile number three. Pile number three is future spouse. We have work. You could meet them through work or they could be very career orientated. I can see you guys meeting through work. This person's super practical. We have five plus years older, so this person might be a little bit older than you. Um, or it could be that you're five years older than them. It's It's up to you how that goes but I do think there's going to be a little bit of an age gap not a huge one but there's going to be a little bit of an age gap pile number three pile number three is future spouse quality time Lorna I'll read them in a sec and I just want to get them out pile number three deep green eyes pile number three Oh, now we have 10 plus years older. So maybe they are, there is a big age gap. Maybe there is a big age gap. But we've got the 5 plus and the 10 plus. So between 5 and 10 years um, of an age gap. Pile number 3. We have blue eyes now. Cheekbones. They may have some Scorpio on their chart. I'm thinking of like... You know when people have Scorpio like ascendants or they have a lot of Scorpio, they have very refined jaws. Um, there's like a certain kind of like face shape that they have where there's like a refined jaw, like or just the their cheeks will be very prominent. Like it's it's and when I say cheeks, I don't mean chubby cheeks, I mean like it's it's almost like refined. Um I hope that makes sense. But I, I feel like they may have like sharper features, especially on the jaw, chin area. Um I feel like they may have Features like that. Pile number three. Oh, God. Sometimes I'm a bit clumsy. Pile number three. Tall. Is this person's tall? And slim. So tall and slim. Back of the deck, we have athletic. Um, I don't know why I'm being shown like maybe like a swimmer's body or something like that. 
yeah i'm definitely being shown like a slim torso like i'm being taken there like a long torso like i don't know i'm just being taken there i have like abs or something i don't know um doesn't matter what gender i'm just being taken there um so quality time yeah i see you guys this is the thing they're gonna physically show up so it's not like i'm gonna take you on a date and we're gonna do this and that it's like i think they're very practical like um i'll what day are you free i'm um, free thursday okay i'll meet you at um this place or i'll come and pick you up and i'll see you at 4 p.m or something like that and um, we can go and grab food so they're very like practical um and very just like to the point especially at the beginning as well and i think that's my why you might not think it's gonna grow into anything because of how like there's not too much like texting telling you all these things it's like a phone call text here and there but it's like in person is where it really grows sort of thing um yeah and then it's like physically they're like there's a lot of physically showing up for you even in the marriage i see a lot of physically showing up for you like this is the type of person that would like pick you up from the airport and like um you know it's like i'm i'm, I'm i feel like i'm taking somebody somewhere like I'm, I'm constantly like doing all of these practical things for somebody i'm practically doing all of this that's that's just what i'm seeing um because it's like i'm creating this so you can climb onto it and then you nurture that it's it's interesting the di the dynamic uh then we have the loner why do we have the loner card i feel like this person may have like only like a few friends or they may be very like work orientated so like they may not see their friends as much or they could be like an only child or something like that um they're quite deep like i feel like they're quite uh they're definitely not someone that is like constantly out and partying or anything like that they seem very like practical yeah they know how partnerships work and how like they could have they could have been married before or they could have just been in like a long commitment before or they just know how relationships work like they, they know how to show up or maybe they've learned through bad connections how to really build a connection um but i feel like they would have been on their own for some time and i feel like they may have like a certain like small close-knit of friends instead of like a bunch of friends it's it's you know there's like one or two friends that they may have around them um and then deep i feel like you know both of you are going to get very deep emotionally but there's just there's a lot of love there's a lot of love that's really going to grow um and then 10 plus years older five and 10 plus years older i feel like that's the age gap they could have blue or green eyes or like lighter eyes um they don't have to it's just the cards that came out like i said cheekbones prominent cheekbones i feel like they're gonna have a prominent jaw um 100 there's like sharp features i'm being shown and then tall and slim yeah i think that they're gonna move a lot like i think they're gonna take care of themselves a lot i see them in outdoors quite a bit um because i don't want to be showing jet ski i don't know if they'll have a jet ski i just you know that's what i saw uh yeah so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey Palfour, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at your future spouse. So like the other three piles, I'm just going to let the energy go where it needs to go. Um, let the energy guide me. I've, even though I've been placing tarot and things down, I've been channeling a lot more. Um, so I'm still going to place all of the cards down and whatnot, but I, I found that everything's just kind of flowing in. So I'm not asking particular questions. I'm just letting whatever comes through to come through, um, whatever spirit feels that you need to know. Um, so yeah, let's get in. So you guys chose the pine cone. I always call them acorns because when I was younger, I thought they were acorns. So it's just ingrained in my brain. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with um tarot and then we'll move into your oracle cards i also pulled these out so we can get some personal like personality traits and physical traits and stuff like that as well so let's get in so pile number four please spirit guides the pine cone if i say acorn apologies um the pine cone pile pile number four please spirit guides what can you tell me about pile number four's future spouse or the dynamics or their what type of person they are what can you tell me about pile number four's future spouse 
you're gonna be shocked at how much you find this person like physically attractive like i think from the get-go i think you're gonna quite have a bit of a crush on on your person um like you're gonna find them really attractive but i think a lot of people do i just think they're blessed that way you know um am i putting this upright or upside down upright the empress not shocked beauty and abundance um yeah i think that you're gonna feel a little bit giddy to be honest with you um you're really gonna find them attractive uh we have the shaman here as well divine wisdom spiritual power pile number four i'm hearing bad liar by selena gomez where she talks about is she sings i'm trying i'm trying not to think about you we have oh a lot of major arcanas we have the awakening card i can see cats i think luna's here she's on the floor i'm sure i saw vader as well um pile number four please for guides pile number four's future spouse pile number four's future spouse i don't know what it is you feel quite physically attracted to this person but like you don't do anything about it it's like it's just there it's just like oh i quite fancy this person and i quite have a crush on this person or it could be that you not someone that necessarily goes for looks but it's like this person's genuinely very good looking like i will say that they have their looks and it almost does feel to me like conventionally attractive or maybe like you have a type but you very rarely go for the physical type because you're more of a nurtured written person like an emotional person so it's like you never the people that you've been with don't go for what you conventionally find attractive whereas this person's going to be that this person's going to be what you would find attractive knight of acorns pile number i don't know why i'm thinking of like an ethereal feel because if it's um like a girl that this person is i see like a harley bailey feeling coming through from them like because she's very magnetic um and just very beautiful you just look at her you're like wow you are the most attractive person in the world and very ethereal and i just feel like if it you know no, no matter what gender i just feel like this person has a feel to them like that um yeah nine of crystals which is the nine of pentacles pile number four please spirit guides pile number four's future spouse Keep your bad liar. Two of crystals, which is the two of pentacles. Pile number four, please, for your guides. Pile number four's future spouse. Justice. Pile number four's future spouse, please. Pile number four's. Both of these cards came out, so I'm going to put them down. We have the ten of feathers, which is the ten of swords. And then we have the Eight of Crystals, which is the Eight of Pentacles, Dedication and Progress. And then we have the Hanged Man at the back of the deck. Okay, pile number... I'll just do this so I can see. Okay, pile number four, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number four is Future Spouse. The Awakening Night of knight of acorns knight of wands okay this person's going to be lingering around a little bit but i don't think anything's going to get off the ground you may work with this person but not really have many conversations with them your conversations may be a little bit far in between it could be that you're in a partnership at the time they're in a partnership at the time um i feel like there's going to be a little bit of a gap of when you and this person get together it's almost like you meet um and then it's like a couple of months later you meet again and that's where something happens there's like a little bit of a gap um because there's enough time for you to be aware of this person know that you find them attractive feel a little bit giddy but nothing happens um it's just like oh i quite like that person or it could be that you meet and you actually get off really well like you you um it's like a bit electric like they make you feel really good and you're like oh i really i really like that i liked you know talking to that person but then it's like you don't see each other for a minute like you don't see each other for like maybe a year or this person's gonna go travel somewhere or um this person works somewhere else so they get transferred someone else but then it's like something happens where they're put back on your path so it's like they go away and get put back it could also be that this person 
maybe you get on well but this person could be in a relationship so it's like time happens the connection ends and then when they're ready and single they're put back on your path it could be like a premature meeting i've actually seen something like this come through before on a I think it was like a soulmate reading. No, it was a relationship reading. I can't remember what one it was. Um, but I felt it, it's kind of given the same sort of energy of like, um, they may be in a relationship so they can't really do anything. You know what I mean? It's just like, I've got a, you know, I'm already committed so I'm pulling back or um, like something's happened prematurely. We've met a little bit earlier than expected, but it's not going to come off the ground until the next, the, the moment it's meant to um but that's where this giddiness feeling's coming from this is where that oh i quite fancy that person um it's like a memory because you like stick out you know when you meet someone that's meant to be part of your journey and they just stand out and it could be like nothing to do with them or their looks or anything they just stand out that's what this person's gonna be like for you and i feel like you're going to be like that for this person so it's going to be like a memory of each other of like oh i really got on with that person or I really like that person. I like, you know, that person was funny or that person was really attractive. I really, really had a crush on them. But it just doesn't cement until it's supposed to, which is a little while longer. For whatever reason, it's going to be different for all of you. Like I said, some of you guys, they could be in a relationship. You could be work, commitments, whatever. It takes them somewhere else. And then, you know, you fall back in alignment. Um, So there's a little bit of a minute before that happens. But there's enough energy to like, there's like a pondering. So it's like, I want to see that person again. I hope I bump into that person again. Or um, you may look up each other on social media. You could even follow each other, each other on social media, but not speak. There's something about you both being around each other, but there's no contact then for a minute. It's Which makes me feel like maybe there's a lingering on social media. You both follow each other, but don't interact. Or maybe you'll like each other's posts or whatever, or swipe up to something, but like you don't interact really. It's not... Um, there's nothing yet until it happens you know what I mean like until something actually is built uh and there's a little bit of a a rebirth in both of your lives before something is built because something has to be sown there's like a seed that needs to be sown something needs to be played I feel like one of you might have been in another connection and that needed to end or one of you needed time to heal from something uh or needed to reach something with your finances it's something about self-development or reaching something and learning something before something something is built um but there's a lot of like if there's like a room there's lots of people and i'm and i'm glancing over and i'm looking or you've caught my eye um so i don't i feel like you might work with this person or just there's a social scene where you're out you could think that they've like gone away somewhere but then they come back and then it's like oh you're here i thought you were in croatia you know it's like and they're back so it's 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 that sort of thing um yeah that that's very much what i'm kind of picking up and i feel like it's smooth like i kind of feel like when you do finally link up and you you are around each other and you do build a connection with each other i feel like it's very smooth because i feel like you both are quite alike and i feel like you both have a lot of the same interests um to the point that you might even like the same foods like this is my favorite restaurant i like this restaurant there's a lot of like synchronicity and like little interests because it, it feels like uh best friends like oh my god this is my best friend like that's how it feels so i see a lot of them like quality time and just genuinely enjoying each other's company um and there's no denying like a feeling that I'm feeling but it's not too I'm not rushing I see you and maybe this person may be having some fears coming up but it's like you're not feeding them because for that to spiral you have to feed it and I don't see you feeding them it's like no I feel this way and I'm just gonna let it be what it is and I think that's how it then grows into a proper partnership and then a you know a marriage um, I see a lot of quality time when you link up that second time. Yeah, I see a lot of quality time. I see things being quite smooth in regards to that because it's like I know where I'm going and you're going in the same direction. It's like I'm going this way, oh me too. And it kind of glides then. Which is quite interesting. But I feel like there's more. Like I feel like I need to pull more and I don't know why I'm not getting any more than that. I feel like I want more. There's something that needed to be established though. I'm going to pull a little bit more just to see um, more about this second time. 
I'm going to pull the mini cards actually. Because I want to know. Because I'm, I'm also getting the first time. I'm not getting the second time too much. And I want to know. I want to know how it. Maybe I'm not meant to know. But I'll just see if, if Spirit will elaborate on it, anything. I think they might breadcrumb me about the second time. I think it's going to be a bit divinely guided. Pile number four, please, Spirit Guides. When they meet that second time or that second meeting or when they really start to establish things with each other, can you tell me anything about that time? Can you tell me anything I need to know? Can you tell me about energies, places, dynamics? traits can you tell me anything about that time that second time ace of cups reversed i'm holding the cards upside down no i'm not oh i am i'm holding the cards upside down shit let me do that again i'm holding the cards upside down all of the cards are upside down hang on every single bloody card hang on i hate when it does this this is annoying to me the world right jesus why does this happen to me okay pile number um four please spirit guides can you tell me anything about that second time the hermit The two of pentacles can you tell me anything about the second time the high priestess the fool the three of pentacles and strength at the back of the deck you're i feel like it's you but it could be a person as well there's gonna have to be a leap taken that's gonna actually have you actually come together um like switching jobs, changing jobs, moving somewhere. Um, and it's an intuitive nudge that calls you and then it's like, oh, you're here. You know, it's it's like I'm switching jobs because I'm intuitively feeling called to. There's something, sh there's something shaking up. I'm feeling intuitively called to. So I'm like moving to a job or I'm moving to a town or I'm moving a house or I'm changing something. It doesn't have to be something too big. It could be like I'm coming out of a phase where I was more in rest and recovery and now I'm popping out and I'm being seen. There's a shift that's taken, something that ignites something. You pop, you are somewhere else or somewhere out of your comfort zone and it's like oh my god this person's here so like you could decide you know what i'm gonna start running i'm gonna start running in the mornings and then you go for a run and then boom you bump into this person and they're on a run too and it's like oh like you're here and then that's when it happens so it's like you decided to make a shift which brought this person to you and i feel like they be doing the same but in a different way and it doesn't have to be that it's like i'm gonna switch change jobs and then you start the new job and it's like oh my god you work here uh and it's like that that there's something that you're gonna that's why they're being careful about it this there's a decision you're gonna make that's gonna bring this person kind of like to you and that's when it cements um which is going to create this fresh beginning this kind of like new beginning um that kind of happens i see you as well being in a really it's confident i i see you guys i don't know if you don't sometimes speak your mind or sometimes you might let insecurities like get to you but i see you being a lot more you know what i have a question this person i'm just gonna say it or i'm gonna tell this person what i want out of a relationship i'm just gonna say it like what i want out of a relationship i'm just gonna say it i'm gonna assert myself here and it's like these little things you're doing you're like poking out of a shell and i think that's what's bringing this connection kind of like in I, I hope that makes sense um they're being so bitty with your one so like breadcrumbs 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 let me see what the marriage is going to be like they're really breadcrumbing here what is it can you tell me anything about what the marriage is going to be like anything about how the marriage is going to be like oh god we've got the moon what is the marriage? It's going to be like, I feel like it might be a little bit of a, like an unconventional marriage. Um, yeah. Like you may travel a lot. There's something about it that's like unconventional. Watch as fell. I just dropped a bunch of cards on the floor. There's something very unconventional about the marriage for some reason. 
I don't know why they're being so bitty. Pile number um, four, please, for you guys. What can you tell me about the marriage? Page of Pentacles. Pile number oh, three of wands. Two of cups. Back of the deck, we have the tower. I don't know whether it's going to be a situation where... There's going to have to be like lots of shifts made to kind of like make it work. I'm not going to like that's kind of how it's coming through. And that's why they're being bitty about it. It's like it could be long distance for a little bit. Or you may have like this person could like work away a lot. So that's what I'm being shown like, a little bit unconventional. Like this person may have to work away and then sometimes you travel with travel with them. Sometimes you wouldn't. Sometimes you'd have to just settle for like like a FaceTime sort of thing. Um yeah it's like oh you may have to move locations a lot there's something to do with that which there's a lot of like compromising and we want this to work so we're going to make it work but it might look a little bit different than what we both planned to have in regards to like a marriage or something like that like this person could be a singer they're on the road a lot so you're on the tour bus with them you know what i mean it's that sort of thing um yeah they could be like in the navy or the army or something so it's like yeah they're away a lot that's kind of what I'm kind of getting because the three of ones I'm thinking of like long distance but it's like emotionally we're here uh and it's just a little bit different but it works for us but we've made it work we've set it up this way it's like emotionally and energetically it's here but physically we've got to start making roots for it to work it's like when think of like getting across the sea it's like I can't swim from the UK to France but if I build a boat I can so it's like adapt compromise and maybe that makes sense why they were there and then you didn't see them for a while because they would have traveled they would have gone somewhere yeah and they're being really secretive about it like i'm i'm being really breadcrumb i wish i could let it flow more and let more come through but i'm just being given bits which means i'm meant to only give bits but there's something about it that's unconventional and you have to make something work there's a lot of like online facetimes how do we work you know I'm, i don't know why i'm being taken to japan it's like how do we work through this how do we work with this how do we make this work for us because i feel this way and you do too how do we make this work and that's where something then is kind of built you build a bridge across the sea sort of thing so let's pull some more cards pile number um We have you deserve love you are lovable pile number four please for guides pile number four pile number four please for guides i think this might have to be a little bit like long distance at times yeah pile number four's future spouse please for guides Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Pile number four. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. The back of the deck we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Like I said, you are really going to have a crush on this person and you are going to feel a bit giddy. And I feel like you might feel like feelings of inadequacy a little bit but i see you breaking through them that's why we have love yourself first because it's like you did like you're a 10 too because I, I see you like thinking they're a 10 like they're so attractive and it's like i want to look at you and be like yeah so are you do you know what i mean it's not like oh they're attractive so like why would they be interested in you why would they not be interested in you because you're a 10 as well and it's like oh they're really loving and i'm like looking at you like so are you <laughs> like i'm trying to like let you see like you are like that's do you know what i mean and it's like oh they wouldn't be interested i'm like what you mean why wouldn't they be interested why would they not be like there's little things that may come up a little bit when you first meet them um where you're a little bit observant so why what, what, what would they really want and i'm like what you mean what would they want you're really cool like i i, I just feel like i want to say that to you because it's like you might get those feelings come up and that's where we have deserve you deserve love you are lovable because maybe in the past you've all you've kind of maybe thought 
oh well i haven't got enough money or i haven't got this or i haven't got that like why would they want this like why would they want me or maybe you've compared yourself um and i think them feelings might come up but they're coming up for you to like work through because i feel like this person is really gonna like you and i want to say like why would they not and i would say maybe get like a notepad or something to start writing everything that you love about yourself um and everything that you find maybe attractive about yourself or lovable about yourself um just to pull back into you you know because you might have a little bit of a hash in a critic that might come out a little bit because of the insecurities but i'm being told for you to observe them um and pull back into yourself when that happens stay optimistic about your love life i do feel there's going to be a little bit of a strain like how can we make this work how is this going to happen but i see you both wanting to make it work and build in something um even if there's like a i'm hearing that high school musical song and i can't remember i i know Chape had to stand in for gabriella and sing it and she sings like even if we're miles apart and she has to like sing that over the balcony um i think that's gonna be our song but like i see that it's like even if i'm miles apart like love you sort of thing like i just i i want that there's something being built um and then religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path maybe you're both religious i do see more spiritual to be honest with you i see you like you know the god source universe like i see you very connected in that way um i see you look at things in a very elevated way very much so that i feel like you're not someone that does the most traditional things anyway so it's like this is cool this is you know i can make this work like you might not even have the most expectations so it's like this is this makes sense for this to work for me like this um yeah let's pull more cards we've got these and we'll take a look at your person's like traits because not that much of their traits has come up um We'll see what comes through with it. So pile number four. Pile number four's future spouse, please, spirit guide. Pile number four's. Oh. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. I swear there's like an ocean between you. Because look at that. Look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Like it's a spiritual, it's like a soulful, like I'm here. Even when sometimes I'm not. And when it says as deep as the ocean, it's making me think that there may be a bit of a bit of water between you, you know? Um, not constantly, because it's like you're with each other and then there's like a little bit of a gap, and then you're with each other and there's a little bit of a gap. Which you may even go into business or something where someone's gotta be one side and one someone's gotta be the other side. Cause it's almost this feeling of like, you hold the fort down over here, I'll hold it down over there. I don't know what that's about i don't know what that means i'm just being told to say it you hold the fort down over there i'll hold it down over here i don't i don't know what that means but that's what came through uh pile number your card's on the floor oh i hurt my arm then we have athletic it's come out a lot that one so your person may work out a lot being you know, a dozy type of person um pile number four's future spouse what can you tell me about pile number four's i feel like they have a distinct voice you know like um i'm trying to think of someone who has a distinct voice you know how halsey sings and it's like in cursive it's like that it's like i don't know they have like a distinct voice. There's something to their voice that's different. It's like that's an unusual voice. Yeah. Pile number. Oh, or maybe a different accent to you. Maybe they have a different accent to you. There's something sticking out about them speaking. So it's either a different accent or like there's a certain type of. They have a different voice. You know, Selena Gomez has got a very raspy voice. Trying to think of people's voices. I don't know. Either a, a different type of voice that you wouldn't usually hear or it's a completely different accent. They're from somewhere completely different. I don't know why I'm being taken to an Irish accent uh, that's coming through. And then I'm being taken to a Greek accent as well. We have 10 plus years older. So they may be 10 plus years older. We have green eyes. 
green eyes pile number four please pile number four's future spouse please spirit guides spiritual let's come up twice both connected to spirit quality time i feel like when you're around I, I i feel like when you're around each other you're around each other and you make like the most of it it's like we're not just gonna sit around and like lounge about and it keeps this like passion going it's really really lovely brown eyes we have now pile number pile number four's future spouse please workaholic yeah i mean i i feel like it might be work factors as to why someone's here someone's there it could be that you're both born in different countries so you're having to go back and forth um something like that smile i feel like this person's gonna have a really nice smile we have five plus years older now so anywhere between five to ten years we have work again so work is a big factor confident this person's confident pile number four pile number short hair so they'll have short hair or they may have short hair and we have slim as well so my pile number fours that was your reading i really hope this resonated for you guys um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed i'm sorry i couldn't pull too much there's always one pile where i'm breadcrumbed a bit and this was the pile uh so i hope i was able to bring through what i could and i hope it made sense like i said hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did enjoy let me know i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching